Hey y'all, hey, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. We leaving service. It was a beautiful service and it was just about trusting in God. Amen. Trust in God because he always will be there. You just have to be faithful. And it don't take a whole lot of faith, just a little lot, a little faith. You just trust God because he will make a way. They built a new house there. You see that? I see. Huh. Very nice. That's a little warm in here. Already got warm in here today. So how y'all doing this fine Sunday? How y'all doing? Praise God. Like I said, it was a beautiful service. Y'all know I'll leave a few of the snippets of the service in the end. But it was a beautiful service, a beautiful word. Just about trusting God and knowing that He'll be there for you. And today's letter of the day is B. And as I was thinking about it, when he was talking about trusting God, sometimes we think small things. church y'all today's OOTD of the day is this little dress here I'll move back so y'all can see it but it was this little dress this little number and some sandals but this was today's plus size OOTD of the day church attire church edition but I'll wear this other places too but anyway I'm gonna put on my house shoes and then I gotta go on live on I gotta open some packages up and then I gotta go on live on TikTok and do some uh, promo for TikTok. So I got to get to work. And then after I get done with that, I'm gonna give me a little bite to eat and I'm gonna do a little resting. I'm gonna try to upload the video and I'm going to uh, put in the winner of the, um, try to drop in the winner when I go in there and I'm gonna show y'all the next week's giveaway prize. Okay, and tell y'all what you have to do to enter that. But let me go in and grab my uh, house shoes. I'm not going to even get undressed. I'm going to go ahead and keep it going while I got some clothes on. Okay? Because you don't have to take your clothes off to have a good time. Y'all remember that song? You don't have to. I don't even know the rhythm of it or whatever, but you don't have to. Anyway, let me get, like I said, go put my house shoes on and get these sandals off at least. And I will be back. You might not get it. Y'all, I gotta do this advertisement for this Christmas shirt. And guess what it has? It has Silent Night crossed out. And then it has In My Mind. In My Mind. You know, when you hear that at Christmas time, you already know that's Silent Night by the Temptation. So it has the Temptations and In My Mind. <laughs> so I gotta do that. I'll do that sometime or another tomorrow this week. But anyway, uh, congratulations to the winner. I did the random draw. Uh, I'm going to slip that in here. Congratulations to you. You know how I do it. I need you to email me your uh, mailing address and all of that, and I'll get that out to you. Congratulations on the win. I hope you'll be blessed by it. Um, I need you to do that for me, and I need you to also go back to the original video and said I sent the email, Miss Donald. So I'll know because I'll be inundated with emails, and I'll know to look for yours specifically so I can get it out. look for yours specifically so I can get it out. 
the next giveaway for the next week. And I need you to, uh, you have until next Saturday, you know, you will get a set of salt and pepper grinders for your kitchen, salt and pepper grinders. And you'll also get one of my automatic, the automatic dish soap. I mean, not dish soap, but soap dispenser. And y'all, these were two of my viral products that went viral for me on TikTok that I got a lot of orders from, so I just thought, and I love them. I purchased these myself, by the way, to start with, and I've since promoted for companies and got them, so I just want to have and share the love to you for two products that I really enjoy, so just enter me and just tell me what's your favorite dish to cook in the kitchen for the entry, and we will be um, drawing next Saturday, so you have until then, until, you know, on this video to enter. Don't enter on another video because it won't count. Enter on this video. Okay, so again, you will win the salt and pepper grinders and the soap dispenser. Okay, so that is the next drawing for the next week of Vlogtober. And I'm going to set it to the side so it will be what? Ready to go. Ready to go. All right. We're cooking with gas. Moving right along, let me open up something else. Here, I'm opening up packages. I got quite a few kitchen items to do, so I'm going to get myself together. My phone's not charged, first of all, so I probably am going to eat something beforehand. But my phone is not charged. And I need to um, get myself together. If I can get into this, that's the only thing. I, I didn't ever open package yesterday because we were so busy. So I got to do these headphones. I've been getting a lot of headphones in lately, but I love this brand myself. This is one of my favorite brands because these are the ones I have my over-the-ear earbuds through. And I have a larger pair. I got the pair when they upgraded. And I absolutely love, love, love these. So I will be doing these. And I'm, I'm sure I got to take a listen to them first before I be saying, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I had a lot of packages yesterday. And we got back from all of our running around and escapades yesterday with a pile of them on the... I know that postman gets sick of me. I know she does. I saw her one day and I gave her $20 to get her some lunch, but I'm going to have to give her something else too. Because to be honest with you, even though I get packages from other places, most of them come from that little postal lady that comes to my house and deliver so and i appreciate her i really do because i know this got to be nerve wracking so what do y'all got planned for this fine sunday y'all we had a good time yesterday we had a good time yesterday now because of my knees and stuff but i still want to be stylish i had the opportunity to do some shoes for tiktok so I'm gonna show y'all. They're just some little flat shoes, different little flat shoes for me to wear to wear to uh, church and work. But I don't really do like the flat flat shoes. So these are not some I'll be having on for long periods of time. But I got the they're the same little nice. shoes. You see, mm -hmm. for me to wear to church. These are the olive green ones. Mm -hmm. And I got this in several pair. I got this in several colors. I ain't going to go through all the colors for you, but I got these in several colors. So I have to do these for TikTok and I, they weren't very expensive. So I got several color, you know, to wear with the different color. Because y'all know I have, um, I wear a different color outfits. I be colorful, as they say, as they say. But in those, I got brown. I don't know if y'all can see brown. We got the, is this navy blue? I don't know if that's navy blue, but I got the raw blue. I got, they look like they sent two brown pair. I think they overshipped. They sent another brown pair. Well, I'll put these in the donate. And this is navy blue. No, this is black, I think. Yeah, I think this is black black 
I think I, no, I think they were supposed to send me a navy blue pair, and they sent me two brown pair instead for whatever reason. Maybe they didn't have a navy blue. And then I got these little slip your feet in slides. Now I see these up front. I don't really like these. They're ugly. I don't know what I thought they was going to be. I thought they was black and white, but they're black and gold. They're just some little slides your feet in, right? So... I don't know that I have any black and gold. Maybe they look better on them. I don't know. Because right now, up close and personal, they ain't doing nothing for me. And then I just got a regular black pair in that. So, like I said, I got the regular just black sides. Now, I like the little black ones. They're cute. But they're like that suede-like material. Both, 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 both the shoes are. So, yeah. I got to do that, but that'll be next week. Carmen's in there fixing her some breakfast. Hey, everybody. Happy said, Sunday. She said, hey, everybody, and happy Sunday. We had a wonderful day at church this morning. Yeah, service is beautiful. It's so ironic that I got another set. Another company wanted me to do these salt and pepper grinders. So I actually got another set. And y'all see, I just put a set over there for y'all. So anyway. These are just a bunch of clothes. I got a whole set of clothes over here that I won't be doing today. It's just clothes. More clothes. Sometimes the clothes just clothes and clothing. If they be clothing, they keep a coming. So, I don't even bother buying anything. I do need some more turtlenecks um, for my own self because I had bleach spots on some of my brown one and my black one. And I wear those under things. And, yeah. So, Another clothing item. Ooh, yeah. This you is like something, camo. huh? You like camo. I love camo. Yeah, I do. I love camo. This will be something that I already told Carmen she could have it for her house, but I will be featuring this today. Um, when I get off of here, I got to do, she drinks coffee. You know, y'all know I'm not a coffee drinker. And so they have me to do this. Um, oh, you want to see it? Mm -mm. I, I, not that I want to see it. Oh, you're speaking. Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. I just wanted to say that Donna's word for today of being thankful was blessed. And I want everybody to know that this lady right here is a blessing. And I pray that you all receive her as a blessing because I sure do. I get on their nerves. I, I like I do yours. I do yeah, you, she gets on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> I really get on her nerves. But you know what? We are blessed to have each other in each other's life. You have a blessed day. Well, y'all see this? She's going to be taking this to her new home, but I'm going to do a video on it. But I got it. I agreed to it just for specific because oh. I knew she was going to need one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, see excited? how I get excited? Whoa. This is an individual coffee maker. It'll make, I think it's to 12 ounces, either 6 to 12 ounce cup or individual cups. And you put the little K cups like it down in here. Oh, So yeah. this will be her individual coffee maker that she can take on to her home. I love it. Yeah. Two cups a day will do me. Okay. That will that will charge me up. Well, leave, leave a box so you can take this yes, box. Yes, yes. Yeah. Thank you, sis. But put, no, don't take it right oh, now. Oh, I can't. I gotta, I gotta do it right now. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. Take it. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. I, I, I do. The people do want me to do a video oh. and talk about their product. <laughs> you know. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you can have it. I don't need it after that. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. So, I got a whole pile of stuff back here. Oh my God. I got one more package to open, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't even show y'all these.
Every time I say I'm not gonna do some slippers, and I said, I'm not, but I love slippers, by the way, house slippers, y'all. And I said I wasn't mm. gonna do any more slippers, but look at these, Carmen, mm -hmm. they sent me to do. Those are gorgeous. Aren't they, though? Oh, my goodness. And they say you can wear these outside and inside. I can see why, because the sole is so thick. But look at these, y'all. Mm -hmm. Aren't they super cute? They are. So I got to do something on the slippers. I'll talk about the slippers and probably a live. I think I'm going to do a whole thing of slippers because I got about six pair of house slippers down there. She really has about 10,000 pairs. Because I had some of my own already that I bought. I gave her some when she got mm -hmm. here. And I've gotten Amber several pair, but yeah, I love I love house slippers. See, y'all find new stuff out about me here and there. And I told y'all I had another one of those Christmas pillows coming, like the cracker can candy. So, oh, that's the pillow. Yeah, one of those Christmas pillows. See it? This is it here. And it's like the cracker candy. So I'll put this out with the red house and the candy cane. Yeah. In another area of the house. For Christmas. If you feel like it, I will, that would be very nice. Thank you. Since you're like off. Maybe didn't look clouded over there. I got one more thing to open. Now, I will tell y'all this won't be a giveaway until Christmas, so don't get excited because I have to use these for now. But I have more than one, so I will be giving one of these. One of these away for the holidays. And more than likely, it will be this one. But this is a digital picture frame. Because I'll be doing another round of these giveaways uh, probably Thanksgiving week and two more weeks afterwards so you can get it in time for Christmas. But one of these digital, digital frames will be on the lookout. So be looking out the week of Thanksgiving or two days after this will be in the giveaway round that round. We're not doing that this time because these got to go into some of the Christmas gifts. And like you said, I got already some salt and pepper shakers and another soap dispenser to display in videos. But, you know, this right here, one is for somebody in my family. And then this one will be for somebody in my Y2 family, okay? Just so you know, this will be coming. So be on the lookout. We got some goodies coming, y'all. So don't get discouraged if you don't win. This, you know, hey, it's some more coming. Y'all know I do giveaways. So don't get discouraged if you don't win. So that is what's going on with me, y'all. And here we have it ready to go. I have gotten ready to go. I'm going to get set up for my live to go on live on TikTok. I got to get a few items out because I have a lot of kitchen stuff with this coffee pot being one of them. But I got to read up on how to use it first before I be on there talking because they want you to be knowledgeable of their products. So I'm going to go in and talk about the coffee maker and understand how it works before I get on there talking about it. But anyway, that's the end of that. I'm not going to stay on long today. I just want to say again, congratulations to the winner. Y'all know what to do uh, to say, to enter me, and I am told y'all the rules to that. You have to be subscribed, by the way. But I want y'all to have a wonderful and blessed Sunday. And remember, tell me what your B is. Tell me what your B is today. We're on letter B. And this is Vlogmas Day number what? What are we on? Number six? We doing it, y'all. We cooking it with gas. Like I said, I'm going to try to hang in there and make it as many days as I can. But I'm definitely going to come back as much as I can during Vlogtober. I want you to know you love. I love you. But God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And y'all know that I will see you sometime this week, preferably tomorrow. But y'all should have a good day all on what? Purpose. All on purpose. That's right. Love y'all. Bye.
Give us the understanding that each individual needs in this place according to his or her journey. And Lord, work through it in such a way that it gives you glory. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. All those who love the Lord said amen. Amen. Genesis chapter 22, if you have it, would you just turn there as we look at this word fresh and anew on today. Here's what the Bible says. Now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. Then he said, now take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you. So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and he split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. God said to his young men, and Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship, and we will come back to you. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it in the eyes of his son, and he took the fire in his hands and the knife, and two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father. And he said, Here I am, my son. Then he said, Look, the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. Then they came to the place of which God had told them, and Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order, and he bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham. Abraham. So he said, Here I am or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld up your son, your only son, from me. Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place, the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, in the mount of the Lord, it shall be provided. Amen. 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 We talk this morning, trusting God uh, during the test. It's a necessary thing that happens, and God is doing this in the life of Abraham, Lord help me in this place, to sacrifice his only son. While I do not have time to develop this narrative this morning in this sermonic dissertation, I will tell you that of the nine tests that happened before this particular test, he was testing him to see what he was made out of. The nine tests sound something like this. God tells him, first of all, as a stranger, to leave the land of Canaan and go to a place that I will show you. Immediately after that, and faithful when they ain't acting right. Faithful when you feel good, and faithful when you don't feel good. You gotta have a faith, number three, that submits to God in every season. Lord, help me in here. He's in season number 10 of his life. And it looks like he could have told God, God, I'm so sick of these tests, I don't know what to do. But here this brother is, he gets up early in the morning because he's still trusting God. Do I have anybody in here this morning that can shout back at me, I'm still trusting God? I've been through a lot, I've had a lot of storms, I've had some ups and some downs, but I'm still trusting God. God let my mama leave me early and let my daddy never meet me, but I'm still trusting God. Do I have anybody in here that got laid off or fired, but you're still trusting God? Things didn't work out just the way you thought they were gonna work out, but tell somebody in this season, I'm still Trusting God. God, I have about 10 more folk in here. They're both alive on the 
trust his word despite what you see in front of you. Uh -huh. He's walking to a place. He's getting ready to sacrifice his son. But his faith is still trusting God. Number five, his faith obeys God at all times. Number six, he has true faith because it's perfected in sacrifice. See, sometimes you got to give up something to really test your faith. See, it's when you're living with a little bit and God asks you for more than you got, that that really is a time to trust God. See, tithing just really ain't about you bringing money to the church and giving 10. It's about trusting God. So if you just keep going,
and those who were with him. You got to audibleize it. Sometimes you got to declare it before it happens.
Abraham know the Lord will provide? It's in verse 14. He said, but not only will I let you know, the angel came back a second time. Read it in verse 15 when you get home. He came back a second time and said, because you have done this and not withheld your son, I'm going to bless you and your descendants and make them numerous in the sky and the sky. They're going to take possession of the cities of the enemy. Now wait a minute. Mama was faithful, but the children got the blessing. Daddy was faithful, but the children got the blessing. Yes. 